All right, welcome back to another episode of Beer, Bacon, and Bros. Tonight, the whole gang's together. We got Adam, Alex, Chris, and Keith. We're going to jump into our NFL playoff predictions, Super Bowl winner right here, as we have the full slate of all 16 teams. Am I doing the math right on that? Yeah, yeah 16 teams. Uh, before we do that, make sure you hit the subscribe button. As always, we're growing the channel. Free to you means a lot to us. If you're already a subscriber, I want to thank you again. It's 14. 14? Mm-hmm. Said, yeah, said, 14. Said, yeah, you were at 14. So, yeah. um, math sorry, math was hard. I, I was in high school. <laughs> math like, be hard 11 years ago. So um, I don't agree with Gene. So it was yeah, sure. And he's an engineer. Math means a whole lot more to him. So nah. Um, <laughs> God, we I mean, just throw a factor safety on that thing. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> we're totally botching this intro, but we're going with it. If you're a subscriber, good. thank you for doing what you do already. Uh, make sure you hit the like button on the video so it becomes more popular. Make sure you share it with your friends, and as always, hit us in the comments. You know we'll get back from you. So uh, we're going to do something a little special on this one. Uh, we're going to each pick our Super Bowl winner from here. If one of us gets it right, they get to pick a punishment that the other three have to do. Obviously, non-life-threatening. So um, taking a little risk. Maybe none of us get it. Maybe one of us get it. Maybe we end up on the same teams, and multiple of us get it. So... Um, anyone want to go first? Adam's taking Dallas. I'm not taking Dallas. Al- Adam Me? has to forcibly take Dallas. How about yeah. that? <laughs> uh, I will promptly agree that we will exit in the post. <laughs> <Damn. laughs> we will lose the Tom Brady in the Bucks this week. Damn. Um, next Monday at, what is that, 8 o'clock, I think, is the game time. Yeah, yeah, I don't know how y'all got a Monday night game. It's, it's the super Brady. wild card thing. It's yeah, Tom Brady. Brady. It's, yeah, it's, it's Tom Brady. It's Dak Prescott. It's Tom Brady. Yeah, that's fair. That's it's, fair. No, um, no he he's, just, he's on his last, like... This is it. Yeah, yeah. he's on his last, like... It's his favorite unless, uh, unless, of course, he goes to New Orleans or co- the Colts. So, we'll see. No, you, you get to see Dallas fell in prime time. That's all that is. Yeah. Um, we, we watched the last year on the cruise ship. We fell in prime time. So. Yeah, yeah, we did. <laughs> um, no, I'm going... I'm going Philly wins it this year. Okay. Okay. I any particular reason you feel that way, or just they, you know you feel like they're the best record, so they're going to take it. No, I I just think they have had a lot go right for them. I know Gardner has kind of been what was the last three or four games he's played for them. Well, Hortel well, played yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But before that, yeah, you know, Gard- so I and Gardner's Gard- not a bad pack. That's what I say. He he <laughs> did exactly what he needed to. Yeah. And he you know he Dallas, he yeah. let yeah he let him. Uh, I was okay with that win. I was okay. But he, he he's done what he needed to for Philly. So, for whatever reason, Jalen goes down here again. They got a viable option in, in, in Gardner. He uh, fits that system. Yeah. They, I mean, they got a lot of talent on the outside. And Devonta Smith and A.J. Brown probably. Were they both 1,000-yard receivers this year, probably? Um, AJ, <laughs> AJ definitely was. I think, I think Devonta, Devonta might have got there. Yeah, he might have. I mean, and then you had yeah, Miles. Sa- if he didn't make I'm gonna say you had Miles Sanders, who may have been a thousand yard rusher. He was over a thousand. I mean, you just have a lot of weapons for them offensively. Uh, probably, arguably top three offensive line, if not the best offensive line. You got a solid defense. Had two great corners, you know, in Bradbury. And Darius Slay playing really well. Their this front year. seven's really strong. So I mean, there's just so many good pieces for them, and I hate it as a Dallas fan to say, you know, that Philly's gonna win. But there's just so much going right for them. It's hard to say not that they're not gonna win. But I think they will see a juggernaut in the Bills. Okay. Is who I think they'll face. Okay. You're right, by the way. Devonta had 1196 yards. So. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just call it, we'll just call it 12. Yeah. Make it even. Fan, fantastic season for both of them, obviously. But um, Well, you call it. I am going to take the 49ers. Okay. And, it's, and it's something I've been thinking about for a couple of days now because I knew we were going to do this. And I was actually probably going to take like the Eagles or the Bills. Actually, I really felt good about the Chiefs, too. But there's just something about the way the 49ers are playing right now. Brock Purdy's doing everything right. He's just putting the ball in playmakers' hands. He's getting it to Christian McCaffrey. He's getting it to Kittle. He's getting it to IU. Getting at the Devo, so uh, and their defense has just been fantastic all season. So uh, you know, I look at this playoff schedule. Obviously, they got to get past uh, the Seattle Seahawks, and then it's easy for them. You know, they're, just, they're probably going to get the Vikings. I mean, you know, you can think the Vikings or the. I mean, even if they get the Giants, I don't fear either one of those. No. It's that next step where they got to face Philly or the Bucks, probably, uh, where you know it'll be the most competition for them. 
Um, I'm taking Buffalo. I, I called it earlier in the year. I, I just think this is Buffalo's year, especially everything that happened last month or two Mondays ago. You know, I definitely think I definitely think they've got more to play for now to do it to do it for their their fallen teammate who's miraculous who's, who's had like a miraculous comeback. So I mean, he's definitely you know stronger and he's been able to go back to Buffalo. But yeah, I I really think it's gonna be Buffalo. I mean, especially if they get to Kansas City and if they get to the if, obviously I think Kansas City is gonna make it easily to the championship championship game until they have to play. That would be it. It would be Buffalo. Well, yeah, it'd be Buffalo. So yeah. Yeah, I I, def, I definitely feel like they you know it's, it's not be a neutral site game. I think Buffalo can handle a neutral site game against Kansas City. Sounds like a man that's in love with a Buffalo Bills fan, huh? Um, no, I just think Buffalo is the best team in, in the yeah. NFL. I'm gonna go with Buffalo as well because I mean they what they've only got three losses now. Yeah, and two of those came very early in the season. Yeah, one to so Miami they, and one to Baltimore. Yeah, and so the they, Jets. They've gone on this run now, and then like Keith said, the the momentum that's behind them because. Of Demar Hamlin and what happened to him and everything, I think, you know, it's that that's their going to be their their battle cry, you know, win it for Demar kind of thing. And I just I think it's I think it's their year. I'm gonna go with yeah, I'm gonna go with Buffalo. I think Buffalo just has, I mean, Josh Allen's a man on a mission. I mean, just like Mahomes, they're they're both the two best quarterbacks in the NFL right now, in yeah. my opinion. Yeah. I mean, it, that's I mean that game. If if that's the if that's the NFC the AFC Championship, that should be the Super Bowl. But, but you know, I, I definitely think Buffalo is going to be there. And if it's if it's the Bills mafia against the crazy the crazy Philly fans, Arizona is going to be like burned to the ground. Yeah, and there's there's going to be no more Phoenix. It's it's, it's all going to be gone. So yeah, I uh, I mean I would both agree. I think Buffalo is obviously a great team. You can't deny it. You know, I, I think that AFC Championship game. I, I mean, even honestly. Buffalo playing Cincy in the second round is going to be a fantastic game. It's a huge I, game. Like, I would say, I know, think that's, that's going to be that's going to be a, a tougher matchup for Buffalo than people I think are giving credit to. I think Cincy oh, no, really yeah, it's has a, been playing very well the last few weeks. Yeah, even as a two seed, this is going to be a hard road to you know go through the Dolphins. Let's say they get Tua healthy. You're talking about a team that's already beat you this year. Tua should not be playing football. Yeah, Grant. Yeah, I mean, no, Tua's, Tua's brain is going to look like it's in a blender by the end of this, but. Um, you still, even then, barely beat them by three at home, you know, just a couple weeks ago, and they beat you earlier in the season by two. So, you know, that would be a great matchup if they get to a healthy. Ben, the Bengals in the second round, the Chiefs in the third round, and then you eventually get to the Super Bowl. Lord knows who you're facing from the NFC. Even but, I mean, they, I think they have a tough – they have the toughest road yeah. to winning the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's where, that's where them being the two seed kind of hurt them. In the sense of that that game that that Monday night game kind of hurt them where they weren't yeah. able to play it, but the only good the, the good thing that comes out of that is if they do meet the Chiefs, like I said, they play in a neutral site, so they don't have to go to Arrowhead to play that game. Yeah, I don't think the neutral site has been named. Has I don't know if it's been named yet or not. No, it'll probably be Dallas because Dallas won't be in the playoffs. I'm gonna say hey, you can take you can <laughs> play in Texas. Uh, that state will be free. Yeah, let's worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry said he'll win it to you. Yeah, yeah. For the, yeah. <laughs> for the small fee of a million dollars, he'll win it out for you. He don't, he don't care. He'll the NFL will put a million in that. If that's all it costs, they'll, <laughs> they'll do that. So Jerry can sit up there with his wide ass binoculars and watch real football. Yeah. It, I mean, this it, is it, what a team looks like. Yeah, this is how they're winning the playoffs. God. Just give him as much crap as possible. All right. Well, we'll figure it out. Anybody got any idea what their punishment will probably be for the group? I got something cooking. You got something cooking? Yeah. Do you want to let it go? You can let it go if you want oh, to. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I think we're doing this also for my school league fantasy punishment to my buddy Alex. But it's, I think it's 30 Big Macs in a week. 30 Big Macs in, in a week? week? Yeah. yeah well, we're, you could probably eat that in two days. Not two days, but I could probably do it in a week. Could, I think you could do 15 and 15. I think no, no, I can't eat like I used to. I know what I'm going to do. I can do it in a week. And I know I've got Adam's full support behind it. What you might do the Waffle House. The Waffle House? 24 hours of Waffle yeah. House. I, I, honest, I honestly, I'm comfortable with that. I, I actually. Oh, we first kissed it. These two over here were so kissed it. Yeah, but, but if I got to go through it with the three of them, I think it'll be fun. No, it'll be two of them. It'll be two. It'll be you two. Yeah, because me and Alex are the hills. Me and Alex are the hills. Yeah, that's true. So. If you and I did it, it would be fun. It would yeah, be fun. But his waffles don't count towards your twenty four hours. Right. I know I know boy over here to smoke probably like eight waffles in a blink of an eye. <laughs> yes, he can. <laughs> he can. He can. I'm, I'm bigger than him, but Adam can outbeat me. No, so he was, I, I got faith. He was fast and everything. He would get something ready. <laughs> yeah. 
that would, not go, that would, oh, yeah. that would I, not go well for that no carb diet you're trying right now. Nah, it wouldn't. <laughs> Can we push this off to like May? <laughs> I think your body would just reject those carbs. You'd end up shitting them out. <laughs> <laughs> I might throw them up in the body. Yeah, you probably would. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, every yeah. throw up adds 30 minutes back. Oh, oh God. Yeah. <laughs> I can do that. I can do that. <laughs> I can punish myself multiple times. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I can do. So I have to think about it a little bit. I have to see what the, what, what the, uh, what it was, but it was Big Macs in a week. And I, I know it was 30, but I can't remember. I think it was almost five a day is what it was. Fuck that. Yeah, if I, yeah. Well, it'd be, it would, like, it'd be, it'd be less than that. It'd be thirty-five. So it'd be, it'd be a little more than four a day. Though. Yeah. So it'd be like two at lunch and two at, and I want Snapchats of you eating them. <laughs> the, the, the video oh my food. god. Dear God. Why don't you have to be a big? I'll I'll let you just do a McDonald's. The McDouble sandwich. Yeah, sandwich. Oh, you can do okay. you can do like a McDouble. Is that, can I do a McChicken? <laughs> No, it's, it's got to be a beef. Got to be beef. Got to be. Oh, beef. you're gonna be fucked. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah. You yikes. <laughs> yeah, that's that's. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You will get multiple photos. <laughs> it's gonna be the photo coming in and, and the photo, photo going out. out. That's, that's <laughs> I mean, so what happens if none of our teams win it? I don't know. I've been thinking. We'll about figure that. that out. Should we let fans put in their picks? And fans it, should choose the punishment. All right, all right. So hit they us nominate it and then they vote on it. So it's not our ideas, it's their ideas. Yeah. All right, so if you hit us in the comments and you tell you predict the Super Bowl winner here before the first... We'll even give you the wild card round. After the wild card round, we're cutting it off. If you hit us in the comments and you tell us who's going to win the Super Bowl, if you get it right, we'll hit you back and let you choose a non-lethal punishment. No tattoos, nothing to do with hair, because some of these guys have to go to offices. I'll take a tattoo, actually. My office probably would not care what no. my hair looked like, so... Yeah, and honestly, I would let... Hmm. That might be my punishment. I get to cut y'all's hair. That's fine. You don't have any hair. I get to, I get to shave you. No bald. No, I ain't going bald. I get to shave you and bald you the whole way. You're no, going full the whole way. way. No, no, baby. No, no, baby. Way. baby. No, no hair neck up for this guy. <laughs> no. So, um, all right. We'll talk about it. So, hit us in the comments. Let us know who you think is going to win the Super Bowl. And as always, we appreciate you. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs>